Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a Libra Rising. Monte Tarot reading October 2019, and uh, bear with me just a second, guys, here to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're gonna jump right into it. Okay, so the first card which represents Libra's topic for the month of October is going to be the uh, Hierophant card. The next one stands as the challenges that Libra needs to overcome throughout the month here. That is going to be the Empress for what it seems. Then the third card, it is a bit funny to explain because this card does describe... Um, the best way to capitalize on the month, all right? The things that you guys uh, are very, it's very potent to go for, and that is uh, the uh, judgment. The fourth card expresses up the lesson that you need to learn throughout the month or why this is all, uh, why all this is happening to you. What is the reason behind it? And we do have the, uh, uh, the, I would have said the fool, but this is the little brother of the fool, which is the page of wands. And the last one, it is the lesson that's, um, not the lesson, but the energies which are to support you throughout the months, things that you can rely on here, and that is to be the uh, strength card. All right, so before we go into the reading and scrutinize it and, you know, tell you what all that means, uh, let's uh, run down the cards one more time. So the first one, it is the Hierophant, which is the topic, followed by the next one here, sitting as a challenge, as we do have the Empress card. Then the third one, it is the best possible approach toward the situation. This is how I'm going to name it, and that is going to be the Judgment. Then uh, we do have the lesson that the month will teach you one way or another, that is the Page of Wands. And the last one here, it is the uh, Strength card, which represents the... Um, the energies that are to support you throughout the months. All right, so uh, the first one, which is the Hierophant, is going to be catalyzed here by the Chariot cards. And uh, it's, uh, it's simply where uh, this is going to be the month where the circumstances cannot elude you. What I mean is that whatever you will have to face and whatever you will have to deal with, neither it can escape from you nor you can escape from it as well. But on the plus side, it seems that throughout the month, you can be quite of a successful person as well, reaching some significant triumphs, either regarding career or either regarding relationship life. Even more, these two cards, guys, are telling us that throughout the months it doesn't look like that you are to throw yourself prematurely into certain endeavors without thinking carefully what the endeavor is going to mean for you and how substantial is going to be in fact uh, for your brighter future moving forward. However, these two cards are really leaning toward the performance in itself, career or relationship-wise, it does not matter. And uh, here, these two cards are pointing that you will completely ab abstract yourself 
from the uh, from the rewards of the endeavor okay the rewards from the relationship or the rewards from the career not because the rewards are not going to be in present but because it will matter more to you how you're gonna look after your performance all right uh, what's not exactly what the people were gonna tell about you but how I would say how how much you do deserve those rewards all right how much um, how fair you won those uh, those results it's very difficult to describe it but i will try to say it that way you are going to be eager to work into your career not for the salary at the end but for the performance and for the work itself because you're going to either like it or because you're um uh, how do i say it um, your beliefs are going to be into that direction into your relationship then uh, you are gonna be uh, you are gonna work to sustain the relationship, not because you are gonna miss love if if that relationship doesn't happen, or you are gonna feel um, uh, you know um, yeah single and lonely and etc cetera, etc, cetera, but because you are gonna hold on into the relation relationship itself. So it's more like working for the for the sake of the endeavor and the enterprise itself, or performing in it instead of for some sort of a, a fulcrum that will uh, come at the end of it when the job is finally done now what is there to be a challenge for you that is going to be the empress and it's catalyzed by the page of swords it is what we do have here so passive enemies it is what we do have and uh, that is way too much information that is going to come in your way information in the form of hints in form of circumstances in form of con of conclusions as well it doesn't have to come through a conversations it is just there are going to be way too many facts around you that may baffle you in many ways to make a, a well-found decisions in regards to either your career or in regards to either your relationship so you may ask how you will, how, how am I supposed to overcome this challenge? Well, it's very, very simple. Take your time. That's the whole, uh, that's the key to the trouble, to resolving this trouble. Because with these two cards, it is imperative that when you feel yourself overwhelmed by an information and uh, that you cannot take sides because both of the narratives, for example, are very plausible and they are very, uh, and they stand, uh, and they stand true to a certain extent, you need to take a break. You need to carefully think over them without being affected by the situation itself. So it's more like a, a, a withdrawal, like a taking a break, like detachment here. And while you are detached, then carefully analyzing the facts, the, the, the circumstances, the conclusions, you know, and the, uh, the obvious, the, the, the right decision is going to become obvious for you because otherwise there is a, a very big, danger or a menace, I would say, to misinterpret p fictions as facts, right? To take a something that it is celluloid and accept it as a something that to be true. So uh, the next one, it is about the best possible way you can take advantage of the month and make it as, uh, as profitable and as successful as possible. We do have the judgment and then the it's catalyzed here by the page of cups. Very interesting. So we do have a active enemies. And uh, the, the, basically you are uh, the, the change bringer. How does it sound really? Or the bringer of change. Um, I mean, under that, it is that you shouldn't wait the things to change. You should change the things. That's the everything you need to do. Well, it's, it sounds easier than actually can be done. But what the point of those cards is that you can form the circumstances required to make a push, to make a breakthrough, you know, to escape a, a situations which are putting you in a disadvantageable posi position, for example, or smothering you down. Uh, also, these two cards may speak for a, a reunion, business reunion, relationship reunion, that is to help you to make the right decision, to make the uh, the right approach and yet it is imperative to do it for the sake of the endeavor itself and not for what benefits you are gonna get at the end so uh, these two cards are very potent and they could relate to many many things but the best thing that they say to you Libra it is that despite what's um, what you think 
or how what your standpoint is, not what you think, but what your standpoint point is, you know what is the right thing to do. And you gotta do it, all right? It is just it is what these cards are pointing. You may you you are maybe trying right now to work your way around it, but the time has come for you to face the reality. The time has has come for you to face the truth that you cannot escape it. You can't elude it. That's that's the fact. And finally, you have to do it. No excuses. No postponing. You know. No evasive actions. No surreptitious actions. Just determination to do it and just get over with it if it is something unpleasant or if it is pleasant if it is something pleasant well feel free to enjoy it so the next card it is about the lesson that you need to learn here and we do have the page of uh, wands and it is accompanied with the eight of cups formation it is a uh, active enemies once again and the lesson is, is as a, this is a lesson of a second chance to be honest that everything everybody and everyone does deserve a second chance in one way or another and it's also a, a lesson about um, not giving up in a, not giving up from the grand scheme of life uh, you can very well give up on a uh, um, uh, how do you say it in English when something lacks a uh, lucrivity mm. yeah well uh, I will say it that way a, a project that lacks lucrivity you can give up on a relationship that you see that there is no points moving or moving forward with it, you know, but you should not give up on being successful into your business, all right? Or you shouldn't give up on being in a relationship in general. It is about second chances that you have to give to yourself a second chance. This is the lesson that you are going to learn that just because one thing did not work out in a way that you have wanted it to work out or in a way that you have anticipated it, even if the current situation looks unfortunate all right and and it looks dissatisfiable in general doesn't mean that the future isn't bright that doesn't mean that a a better perspective awaits you around the corner okay and uh, you shouldn't dwell on the negative emotions that have been manifested uh, thanks to uh, certain circumstances from the past or current circumstances in fact but instead you know just focus yourself more towards the near future and try to do the best you can with the means you have and the last card here for you libra is going to be uh, the energies which are to support you throughout the month that is the strength cards and it is accompanied here with the nine of wands or it is catalyzed by the nine of wands we do have an active supporters so these energies are, are very strong ones uh, they will make you quite restrictive restrictive in a sense that you ain't gonna share lightly your plan which i now that i think of i could have tell, told you that with the empress card all right because it's again um related to the attack to the detachment excuse me from the situation also, it does look like that you're going to approach those decision-making times and uh, the situation itself with huge portion of maturity and also huge portion of, a, uh, of patience because these cards are pointing that the energies are going to help you persevere through patience. You ain't going to be premature, you ain't going to be hectic, you ain't going to have that uh, uneasy wavering around, you know, biting your th your thumb or biting your nails and etc, etc. But just on the contrary, those energies will help you to find the right, uh, uh, the right recipe, okay? The recipe towards success, towards stabilization, toward quenching your, um, your current situation. And you can take it that way that you are, um swiveling you know swiveling around and just picking up the necessary ingredients so you can throw them into the cauldron and just make the magic happen right so uh that being said oh one more thing those energies are gonna make you so indestructible or your determination so indestructible that whatever you determine yourself for I think that you will very well be able to manage with it or to uh, to reach it, to achieve it. So if you do have a high hopes or rather like if you do have big dreams, 
you need to build up your determination throughout the month of October for them. So that being said, Libra, this was your monthly tarot reading October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.